actually holds a ton of stuff. Jesus, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, you know, like, it's, <laughs> it's not as impractical as I thought it was going to be, so. <sighs> All right, right now, I hope what I'm holding is going to be the last ridiculous purchase I make for the rest of the year. <laughs> Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. If you have seen some of my previous videos, this is probably going to be the, the third one, the third one I post, who knows. But after a year of not spending almost at all on clothes and things and home goods, there have been some things I've chosen to purchase, some of it to better my home, uh, like my dresser that I won't shut up about. And other things were just items that I realized like yeah, I want to try that. I think that would fit my aesthetic. Now that I've gotten rid of all the stuff I don't like, I think I have a better sense of what I do like. And this thing is definitely a thing I like. For the first time ever, I have purchased from The Real Real. And what I purchased is the most fashion thing I think I own. And that is this Sesta Collective lunch pail handbag. Can we call it a handbag? I mean, you do hold it. So it is a purse. It is pretty much a purse, right? So uh, this is the, I don't remember what color this is described as, but it, it did come with the tags. It seems like this was pretty much unused, I suspect. This is called the Taupe Cream Lunch Pail. So this is the size of it. Uh, this box is disgusting in the background, so let's get rid of that. But this is the lunch pail. I think it is, for the most part, kind of fucking cute. Like, I'm not gonna lie, low-key obsessed. It has a drawstring inside it to help you keep your stuff from falling out, keep, I guess, people from getting in or seeing what's inside your bag. Inside, it's, it's fairly roomy. You could definitely put a small card holder or a very small wallet in here. Definitely your keys, possibly your phone. Sunglasses would definitely get scratched in this. So I would say don't expect to be able to put your sunglasses in here unless you have like a little cloth bag to put your sunglasses in. Obviously this is impractical for most day-to-day -day use because the strap is short. It can only go on your arm like this. It cannot go up on your shoulder or you have to hold it by said handle. I think this is going to be like an occasion purse, right? So you wear it when you go to lunch with somebody you wear it when you're going to someone's like house for hangout. I could probably carry this to go to the bar uh, just because I don't carry a lot of things when I go to our local hangout. But yeah, overall pretty freaking cute. So the reason I got this is because I was influenced by videos where stylists were using this as part of their outfit. I think they were pretty big a couple of years ago when they came out. I think they sent these to a lot of influencers. I know there's at least one or two influencers that I follow, like bloggers, like OG bloggers, uh, who have these bags in several colors, which is, they have to be gifted. Or, I mean, those people make a lot of money, I guess, but these are not cheap bags. So I suspect they were probably gifted. If not, then they are paying. This phone is reversed, so you're not going to be able to see that. But that says $395. One of these bags, brand new from the website, is $395. Now you would say, Anna, as someone who says they're trying to save money for various things, including a down payment for a home, should the housing market ever crash or subside, why in God's name are you buying a $395 purse that you can't even wear everywhere? Stop it. Get some help. He didn't spend that much. So I got this, like I said, on the real real. It was already discounted, having never been used even, uh, but they also had a $25 credit deal that day, so I ended up only paying $171 for this. I think that's a pretty good price for what some would say is kind of like a novelty purse. It is pretty cute. It gives me like Jane Birkin vibes without actually being like a basket. I was actually thinking of getting like a little French kind of basket handbag. Uh, and I think this is actually the more practical approach because that truly seems costy me. The only thing that I can compare this to is a clutch I have. So let me get that. And this is a J. Crew 
rattan woven clutch. It opens, has a little magnet here. The strap is as such, it opens. In here are tampons and a chocolate for some reason. And the reason that I haven't worn it a lot is because you have to hold it in your hand, right? Or you can tuck it under your arm if you're like trying to use both your hands for something. This means that if I go somewhere where I wanna be cute and stylish in a slightly impractical way, I can, like I said, put it on my arm. If you're like browsing through racks, if you need to hold something, this can still be held, whereas this cannot. So this is going to be used for moments when this would be cute, but a pain in the ass to hold. Yeah, I think it's kind of cute. Like, it's weird, but it's cute. And if you can find it on a on a deal, I think it's a it's a nice purchase. Like it's made very well. So it's got this leather lining that definitely is glued in. It's not sewn into this, but it's leather lined. This is also leather. This is like a very thick canvasy material, but like a soft canvas. Uh, they have their logo inside it, which I don't know, I guess proves that it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. It's well finished. Like the seams inside are really nice. So just so that you know what fits in this, I'm going to put all of this in. So here's a wallet I typically carry when I don't want to carry like a big wallet. Here are my keys, car keys, house keys, everything, library cards, and an old phone. Uh, so let's see how much and how this actually fits. So phone in first. He's inevitably settled to the bottom, so let's just throw him in the bottom. And wallet. Okay. That's what that looks like. So there's still room. I could still put something in here, like snacks, a pack of gushers. If I drawstring it and tuck it in, this is what it looks like from the top. So it's not uh, showing above the purse. It absolutely fits. You know, if if I'm being honest, you could put sunglasses right here. Do I have sunglasses? I do have sunglasses. I hate these sunglasses. These are from Tory Burch. The frames stretch out easily. I would never buy these again. Anyway, sunglasses. These I don't care about, so let's just toss them in here. Yeah, so you could absolutely put your sunglasses in here, especially if you're someone who doesn't carry, like, expensive sunglasses. You're, you're a cheapy sunglass kind of girl. Like, for sure, that will absolutely fit. So yeah, with the sunglasses, it still does not really make the bag seem, like, overly puffy. You know, like, the wallet corner is what's making this kind of pop up a little bit. But I've seen that in, like, blogger stylings where this fluffy, you know, lining inside is still popping up. So... This actually holds a ton of stuff. Jesus, I'm I'm kind of surprised, you know? Like, it's <laughs> it's not as impractical as I thought it was going to be. So there you go, guys. Um, this is now actually the end of the video. So uh, like, subscribe, I don't know.